Look what I just got in the mail. Uh, this is not going to be an in-depth review or anything or tutorial. I just want to show you guys uh, that I got it and what I'm going and like taking some pictures with it. I am planning to use it kind of seriously, like not like a lot of people would do it. Probably two, three hours on a target and see what I can get for results. Uh, but yeah, it just arrived in the mail and I'm going to do a quick little video just showing you guys that I got it. This right here is with the outer box removed. Um, I'm excited to get into it. I am a little sick right now, which is why I sound funny. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to use this and see what I can get for images. Right here it is inside of the uh, foam case it came in. It seems really nicely packed. Although, because we're in Minnesota, it is very, very cold right now. All of this stuff is very cold. So, yeah, I'm going to get it all out and I'll show you guys everything that comes in the box. Okay, so here's everything you get in the box. You get, first of all, this foam carrying case, which actually seems really high quality. You get the C-Star itself with a super high quality tripod. It feels really good. You get uh, two little instruction manuals, a solar filter, which I actually am just about to use, a charger, and some snacks for later. Just kidding, guys. Please don't eat those. No, not advisable. But, yeah, that's everything that comes uh, from the box, and it's all it all feels really, really well made. Okay, so right here I have a quick 20 second video of the sun that I took and in this video I think the sun looks really really good. Uh, you can see a lot of the sunspots and right now the sun appears to be very active. Um, I also uh, was messing around with it doing some other things like using scenery mode. Uh, I'm going to try to get some good astrophotography pics later tonight. But here's a picture and here's the gas can that was a little ways away. Uh, here's on my phone and back to the video. All right, so tonight I'm going to take my Seastar S50 out and try to take some pictures of the Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the Pleiades. And then I'll see about planetary imaging like Jupiter, uh, but I guess we'll just, I'm gonna start with probably the Orion Nebula and get like 45 minutes to an hour of exposure on the Orion Nebula and see how good it looks. Okay, so we're starting off the bat with just a great image of the Orion Nebula. Um, this is 38 minutes exposure time and just a quick edit with my iPhone with the auto edit. Um, and I think it turned out great. Here's an image of the Horsehead Nebula and Flame Nebula with only 7 minutes before it went below the tree line. Uh, I think this one also turned out amazing for only 7 minutes exposure time. Um, here's the Whirlpool Galaxy, which actually I caught a tree in the image because it was behind the trees. There's another one. And uh, I ended up moving the other side of the yard, but this proves right here that these that these smart telescopes are not taking fake images because the trees actually ended up in the image because it was trying to take an image through the trees, which doesn't work. And then here is my final image of the Whirlpool Galaxy, which I think turned out amazing for only 25 minutes exposure before I had to go to bed, but you guys let me know. So all in all, I think this is an amazing smart telescope, and uh, I really like it. The pictures I've took with it so far are amazing, but once you know astronomer's luck, this whole next week is supposed to be cloudy. So yeah, I'll be just using scenery mode for now, uh, but I've been really enjoying using this telescope, and the solar filter is awesome. Uh, if you're thinking about buying one, I would 100% buy it. It is amazing, and I am not regretting it at all buying it. This thing is absolutely insane and for only five hundred dollars this is practically a steal uh, don't forget to subscribe leave a like and comment on this video and i'll see you guys in the next video which i'm actually thinking i might be building a rocket engine Shh.